Well, this is Richard at February the 16th. It's about 11 o'clock. The redig is done. It's um, it's way down there. I don't know if you can see. There's a piece of blue tarp way way down there, and it's so muddy. There's no way to dig it anymore. So I come up here. Of course, I got all this all the way from here to the top of the hill. I ain't never touched yet. And it's more clay on the side of the hill. And I just got this one little ditch started right here. And check it out. Oh my gosh. What a killer this would have. Oh, if I don't throw it away. What a killer this would have been. Right there at that tree stump, 20 feet around. This is where I said the repair shop was for the sedalias. Because we found so many of them. Oh my. That would have been a sweetie. All right, well, no more redigging, but heck, if I could find one of these full ones going up through there like that, I wouldn't mind. It has barely been tipped, about a, probably about three quarters of an inch. I just didn't get time to fix it. I'll get back with you. Check out that nutty nut and stone. All kinds of them. I also found out a minute ago. Also found all these big old tools and stuff. I'll clean them up later. I found them all the way at the top of the hill, which is, of course, what, 250 yards. So I'm going to dig this here that's never been dug. Got to get back into the roots again. I was just enjoying that redig without the roots. But man, if I could pull out his brother with a tip on him, I'd be pretty happy. Well, I couldn't really get enthused with digging in the mud. It's just hard for me to do. But I did find a few things today. Look at this. This would have been one of the most awesome colored sedalias I believe I ever found. Just a little broke. I almost thought this was a piece until I got to looking at it. And it's a, I thought I had the smallest abs, but this is the smallest abs. Complete. Pretty neat stuff, big old tools. And then since I didn't find much, believe it or not, I'll be darned, was another karma package in the mail from Bart. Bart, man, I really appreciate it. These, these are I, I'm so impressed with. If I found, oh my gosh, I believe this is like a Dalton Holland, Scott Bluff deal. Both these, unreal bottoms. Just as ground as ground can be. And this is a personal find of his. Check that baby out. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that polish. And then a little tool. Another little tool. Scraper tool. And then some other pieces of some of the nice material that they've got. Looks heat treated to me. And then three points that he napped himself. And just as cool as can be too. Awesome work on these. The wild little guy. I love this Dalton. I mean, it's beautiful. Just a nice, nice Dalton. And then last but not least, not last. Bison bone, bison jaw, bison teeth, and check it out. Thank you, Bart. You know me well. We get to see him going around the track tomorrow and racing on Saturday night. Awesome. Watched Survivor last night. Not to be like Seinfeld. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I can't stand the gay guy, and my favorite one is the... Uh, the Hawaiian girl, the one that told the other one to shut up. I think it'll be pretty good. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> but he creeped me out. Later.